So by 2035, every Indian aircraft will bear a new signature, engineered in India. Well, India is investing 65,400 crore rupees, which is $7.4 billion to design, develop and produce its own fighter jet engines by 2035, a project that could rewrite India's defense playbook forever. Let's start with the numbers. Over the next decade, India plans to build 1100 jet engines powering the next generation of Indian aircraft from the Tejas MK2 to the stealthy AMCA and future unmanned combat drones. The mission is led by SV Ramana Murthy and the gas turbine research establishment, which is GTRE. The same team that actually once dreamt of the Kaveri engine. Murthy says it's about, well, creating a strong ecosystem of government, private industry and global partnerships, end quote. That ecosystem already includes HAL, private Indian aerospace firms and global engine leaders like GE, Safran and Rolls-Royce, all working toward one goal, which is making Indian skies fly on Indian power. For decades, India has actually been buying engines from the United States, Russia and France. Every Tejas, Mirage and Sukhoi in our fleet depends on a very foreign power plant. Now, the equation flips. India's Air Force plans to hit 42 squadrons by 2035 with 450 new fighters, many of which will soon roar with engines built right here. Talks with GE for co-production of the F-414 engine are nearly complete, transferring critical tech to India, something Washington once resisted for decades. Meanwhile, the revived Kaveri program will power unmanned aircraft and next generation drones, the same kind of strategic tech that defines modern warfare. You might actually remember, because we did this on front page, we covered this and it read something like this, which is HAL UAC India takes flight again. From building fighters to passenger jets, HAL's deal with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation marked India's return to aircraft manufacturing glory. Now, the 65,400 crore rupees engine push completes the circle. From fuselage to flight power, from importer to innovator. Together, HAL and GTRE are positioning India as a sovereign aerospace state, one that can design, produce and export both civil and combat aircraft. Globally, engine technology is the holy grail of defense manufacturing, clearly, guarded more tightly than nuclear secrets. France, the United States and the United Kingdom took half a century to master it. India wants to do it in one decade. Why does this matter? Ends dependence on foreign spares and upgrades strengthens national security supply chains, creates thousands of high skill jobs, opens a new $15 billion export opportunity by 2040. and with Atmanirbhar Bharat as its foundation, the policy shift is very clear. It's really nice actually to see India building its own. When a fighter takes off, its roar speaks of freedom and force. In the decade ahead, that sound will carry an Indian accent. 65,400 crore rupees marks the moment India stops borrowing power and starts building it. So by 2035, every Indian aircraft will bear a new signature engineered in India. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below and how proud this development definitely makes you feel. It is time that we actually tear the sky.